Hey, so what you're looking at here is a wastewater treatment facility within Autodesk InfoWorks. We actually leverage both Revit and Civil 3D to fully design and develop the, the models, 3D models. Um, but InfoWorks is a great tool just to quickly display or visualize, truly visualize the design intent and show off to your clients and project teams and, and project managers and so on, uh, just to give them a better view of what the uh, design intent actually is. But one issue we tend to run across a lot is there tends to be a disconnect between that civil and Revit environment where you often find terrain just running through the structures themselves. So what I've done here is I've actually exported the excavation surface from our civil 3D design and applied that to this model, to the InfraWorks model. So we don't get that effect when, when you're doing a walkthrough or a fly through within the structures themselves, you're not seeing the terrain run through it. So if I come down to the bottom floor, um, underneath the slab, you can see, and the foundation, you can see the terrain is actually accounting for the excavation as well. And it's a great double check, um, a sanity check, just to make sure things are both uh, the structures and the civil 3D models are lining up both horizontally and vertically. Because if you have a hole in your surface, you want to make sure that your buildings are, are actually located in that hole. Um, so here's another quick example of another wastewater treatment facility we're working on. Um, this is at a 35% design, and we have not um, gotten to the point where we've done uh, or performed excavation surfaces or developed excavation surfaces. So what I've done here is I'm going to run through the structure real quick, just go from the top down and show you that we're not seeing that terrain come, come through that building. And that's because I've applied a... Uh, a coverage area with a whole style applied and as you can see I've done the same thing over here you can see that I've outlined the structure but you can see that terrain actually running through right now that's because I haven't applied the the whole style yet so if we come in the structure and come down a little bit you can kind of see a little clip of of that terrain running through it and you can see it on top of this structure uh, to the bottom of your screen so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the properties and I'm going to change the style of this coverage area from none to the terrain hole. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to do some regeneration of the model. And there you go. So now we can actually see what's going on in the structure itself. And if we come to this on the top of your screen, this structure over here, we can see that as we go inside it, the terrain is no longer running through it. Now obviously some, some adjustments need to be made to the boundary itself of that coverage area, but you can see, you get the, the idea at least that by applying this whole terrain style uh, for your coverage area, you can actually eliminate or clip the surface from running through your structures. So just a couple quick tips, tricks on how to um, account for terrains running through your buildings within the InfoWorks environment. If you have uh, questions, comments, got any recommendations or suggestions on some future topics that you'd like to see, uh, whether it be within InfoWorks or Civil 3D, Revit, Navisworks, visualization tools, uh, Dynamo, please let me know. Uh, feel free to reach out. My, I can be reached at stevewalls at hotmail.com or feel free to hit me up on LinkedIn. Thanks.